First of all, you should know about creating a new toolbar is that toolbars are based upon any folder that you have on your computer. And when you create a new toolbar, you'll put it down here on the taskbar and it will display the contents of the folder in a menu-like format. Just like when you come over here and click on the start button, it gives us a menu of options. Let me click off in a blank area. So to create a new toolbar, you need to know what folder you want to base it upon, like let's say the exercises folder. So you want to come down here, find a blank area somewhere on your taskbar, and right click, come up and hover over toolbars, and then go over and down and click on new toolbar. Then it says OK. Where is this folder that you want to base the new toolbar upon? Well, it's on my desktop, so click on desktop, come over here, it's the exercises folder, click on it to highlight it, come down here, click on select folder, and there it is down here on the taskbar. Exercises, got two double arrows, when I click on it, it reveals the contents of the folder. Kung Fu Fighting, double click, Kung Fu Fighting, okay. Now why would I want to do that? Well, if you have a lot of open programs, and you want to be able to have access to this folder from time to time without minimizing all the programs down here to your taskbar, you can leave them open and just slyly come over here and get access to your exercises folder from the menu. Click on it. Well, the toolbar has the menu. Then come up here. There's another folder. You can hover over that and it reveals the contents of that folder. And then you can just go ahead and, well, click on one and it opens up. And when you're done, close out. Now, if you don't want to see the name of the toolbar that you have down below, like exercises, you don't want it there, you can remove it by first right-clicking in a blank area unlocking the taskbar so then we can go ahead and right click on those three columns of dots when you right click on it you see where it says show text that means do you want to see the text next to every icon that's within the folder here you can say yes or no or do you want to be able to see the title of your toolbar which I don't click on it to uncheck it it removes the title of the toolbar exercises and it opened up some space and now it's showing the text next to each icon within that folder like fonts double click there's the icon, there's the name fonts. Let me close out. So if I don't want to see the name of the icons within the folder, like fonts, then right click on those three columns of dots, come up here and uncheck show text, and you'll see that there's no text next to that folder. If you hover over those three columns of dots and you click and drag it, it opens up and shows more icons or files that were created in their corresponding programs without the text. But if you click on the double arrows, it'll actually give you the text next to the icons in the menu here, but not on the taskbar, because it assumes that you got more room up here in a menu than down here on the taskbar, because I only have so much here, okay? And then, of course, to get rid of that, just right-click in a blank area. And before I get rid of it, if I go ahead and lock the taskbar, then I don't get those three columns of dots. But to get rid of it, right-click in a blank area, come up, hover over toolbars, and then go over and down and uncheck exercises, and you're back to square one. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.